Snow and freezing rain mixed with the warm up this morning made it a dangerous time to be on the roadway because any ice that wasn't scraped off of cars was flying off sometimes in dangerous chunks. In Spencer, a piece of ice hit a car on Route 49 and you can see it shattered the windshield. Fortunately, the driver was not hurt. In Dedham, state police pulled over this car who told officers the driver did that he didn't clear the snow off because he wanted to get to the gym. In Gardner, Mass State Police pulled over this driver who didn't even try to clear off the snow off the back window, but did have a pretty cool spoiler on the back of the car. <laughs> Those cars just the tip of the iceberg. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Austin tonight with more. Beth? Well, we've certainly been down this road many times before. This was not a particularly bad storm, but it had all the right ingredients. It is not the law of the state to have to remove the snow and ice from your car before you head out. But drivers say it's all about safety and common courtesy. Like projectiles from a moving car, this morning Madeline Dakin was on the receiving end of flying snow on the mass turnpike. Oh, it's kind of dangerous. You know, they hit. This morning a truck was driving in front of me and it hit, it hit my windshield, so yeah, it's kind of dangerous. The overnight snow may have been more of a nuisance than a storm, but it was coated with ice that made it a potential hazard. State police sending out this photo of another cracked windshield in the line of fire. We saw the sheets of ice flying off people's cars and, you know, you're trying to dodge them as you're driving behind them. I saw a transport trailer with five or six cars, and one of them was packed with eight inches of snow. And you and dare not follow that. I did not. While driving with snow on your roof isn't technically illegal in Massachusetts, you still could face a fine if it's blocking the windshield, impeding your driving, or anybody else's. That's why state police pulled over these cars with the driver's view clearly blocked. While some states do have laws requiring snow and ice removal, Massachusetts lawmakers have tried and failed. Bills which would require snow removal from commercial vehicles were filed in 2017, 2015, and 2013, but they never made it out of committee. I don't love laws for everything, but I, I think something has to encourage people to realize the danger and to, to clear it off their own cars. State police say it's hard to total the number of citations issued today because drivers were pulled over for other infractions. But based on the number of warning photos they sent out, there were numerous. Reporting live from Alston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.